What's up guys, JJ here with Classic Mechanics Garage. I got some exciting news for you today. I'm about to head on out to check out a really unique car collection with a really cool client. Word on the street is he got a couple of bills that he might need some help getting finished. I'm grabbing a few of our techs. We're gonna cruise on up, get some eyes on these projects and see if Classic Mechanics is the right fit for the job. Like it needs to get, get, get plumbed get it running, fire it up, make sure that everything's functioned, yep. and then break it down to do the, mm -hmm. the paint work, you know, because everything's going to need to get painted, yep. obviously. Yeah, but. This is a, our first time seeing this car. Um, yeah. First impression is great. Um, someone sent this thing off in the right direction. Um, you know, going around, we see that uh, there isn't anything that, that doesn't look like it wasn't done to, like, set a high standard for a, for a build. Um, all the components are, are of the highest, highest quality from what we can tell. Um, really, really modern thinking, uh, function forward car. So as much as uh, there's show cars out there, this one looks like it, it's gonna have a, a great function, functionality to it. You know, our unknown to us now is just uh, what, what components are left, what's not done. Um, so it seems though that someone should already have all of that all of what is needed for it for the project. Bodywork is something that lo looks great. Um, we identify obviously the hood and the nose area is something that hasn't been finished. The rest of this stuff is gapped well. Um, operation as well when you you know you're able to open doors and have them close nice. It's it's, it's that it says that this uh, someone knew what they were doing. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't finish it. Um, and I think the the challenging part at this point is just to make sure that we finish it off with the expectations of how it was how how it was originally uh, designed to be built um, but I think it should be a pretty fun straightforward project the body chassis bare right now so it's got to get powdered you know so yeah but maybe it looks like all the plumbing and wiring has been routed yeah but we need to do it ourselves and make sure there's no hiccups where we need to be making a hole bigger or something like that before he paints. I wonder if they're, you know, about to, they were like tearing it down. <laughs> it kind of looks that way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Or I thought all like hoses. Yeah, there's a, you're right. There's a couple of bins here that's old stuff, but like this bin's all new stuff that will get used. And so it's a combination of this one. Is that a square tube in place oh, that yeah. over? I, I wonder know. if they're planning to put on air or fallovers or didn't get that far yet. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we got to drill a little bigger to fit the 7 8 Yeah, getting the work, I mean, they only, you know, it's not going to be hard, but they're going to want to do the work. Right. You know, I mean, they, they, the work needs to get done. Those cars need to get finished. Um, you know, <coughs> we just be realistic with the price you yep. know as far as you know don't try to think that you need to sell yourself short you know the no. the quality is so really high on those cars yeah you know, that, i think that's gonna be the big thing is they gotta be nice yeah like they really have, really nice yeah but that that's gotta have to uh, uh the the guesstimation of the price has to reflect that yeah you know? All right, guys, well, after getting some quotes together from a few of our different departments, came up with some solid numbers. Our clients are super stoked, and they just gave me the word that they're ready to move forward. Also, the car will be here in a few minutes. Our team's downstairs, and they can't wait to get their hands on this project.
cool. What do you think? I thought it was a metal body, but it's fiberglass. Still cool though. Damn cool. It's got a lot of weight in the front end. That back rubbed the aluminum just a hair. The aluminum. Put everything together to get it close on and then we'll meet at that point. Obviously, I'll be talking to you guys between then um, and whatnot. But. Yep. And who do you want me to call as far as like, because we're going to start by looking at it and going, we need to start by doing XYZ. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably keep Brandon uh, as the first okay. contact. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got a new contract? Yeah, well, it's so the same one. It's just yeah. basically we'll just uh, we'll either sign it or whatever and then we'll, like, it, like you said, the deposit will go up and put it on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to get the purple yeah. or something. Man, that is a good looking car. It's gonna be one unique build that we're gonna to get to be part of. Client just stopped by, they dropped the deposit, they signed on the dotted line. Now it's all hands on deck. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow the journey of this Hellcat Willys.